It's finally happening! Welcome to the first episode of After Effects Basics. Now you can expect new tutorial videos every single week and we're gonna start off with very basics one at first. After a couple of weeks, we're gonna dive into more creative tutorials. If you're new, by the way, welcome. I'm Jordi and I would love to know who you are, so let me know in the comments down below where you are watching from. All right, let's fire up Adobe After Effects and explore our VFX journey. The first window that we're going to see is of course the welcome screen. And besides being friendly and saying hi to us, it also has another function and that is creating a new project or opening up an existing one. Here on the left, you can see two buttons for that, new project and opening up an existing one. And in the middle panel, we can see the recent projects that we worked on. This makes it easy to continue on a project where we left off. For now, let's hit the new project button and dive straight into After Effects. The first thing that we will see is a blank canvas consisting out of different panels or windows. Everything of course starts with the project panel here on the left. In this panel, we can place and find all of our footage, compositions, assets, and more. We can import footage in different ways, but the methods that we use the most are simply by dragging the footage into the project panel. Or you can also just double click in the panel itself, which will prompt an import window where you can search for your footage. Now on the bottom of the project panel, there's a button to create a folder, helping us to keep everything organized. And a tip, if you want to change the name of a clip, you can't just double click on it. You have to use the return key on your keyboard to make a name change. And now that we have organized the project, we need a timeline to work in and for After Effects, this is called a composition. And by clicking this button right here, we can create one of those new compositions and it will open up a settings window. Just like in Premiere Pro, we can now choose all the settings that we want for the timeline or in other words, the composition. Now first, let's give it a name right here on top. Then we have the main settings like the resolution and all. You can choose out of a dozen presets for this or you can create a custom one. That is up to you. You know what? For this tutorial, let's just take the Ultra HD resolution preset. Now, one last thing is the length of the composition. And this is different from Premiere Pro where you have an endless timeline. And After Effects, you have to determine the length of your workspace in advance. However, you can always change this later on if your composition is too short or too long. Now let's hit OK and start with adding some footage in here. Let's take those imported clips and drag those into the composition or the timeline. The first thing that you will notice now is how small the layers look, completely different from Premiere. And well, this is because After Effects works with layers and you're quickly gonna have a lot of them. So you're gonna be happy that they are so small. Now, by the way, guys, if you wanna speed up your After Effects journey, definitely check out our beginner's class on Skillshare. It's a complete beginner guide and the reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. Skillshare is a subscription service, meaning that you can watch any class on their platform. There are no ads or anything of that, so I can highly recommend to check that out. And because I'm a top teacher at Skillshare, I can give new students one month for free. After that, it's a very small fee per month. Investing in yourself is important and Skillshare is the perfect place to start with that. Now you can click the first link in the description down below to learn more. All right, back to After Effects. On the left side of each layer in the comp, you can see this arrow from which we can expand their properties, which are probably familiar. Now we can change these, adjust the position, scale, and so on for that layer. Now such adjustments can also be done visually in the composition viewport. With the layer selected, you can take any corner to adjust the scale or just grab the clip in the middle to change its position. However, if you want to rotate it through the layer controls, you have to use the rotate tool, which you can find in the top toolbar right here. So selecting that tool now allows you to rotate the clip. Now we can find many other tools in here, which we will all cover in future tutorials. But let's explore one more, like the anchor point tool, which you can use to move the anchor point, obviously. Okay, we know how we can use the transform tools in two different ways now. Now let's see what we can do with effects. On the right side, we have different tabs, but the one that we want is the effects and preset tab. This right here is your effects library. Now we can look for something through the entire library or just use the search bar if you already know the effect that you're looking for. Let's search for Gaussian Blur. And then just take that effect and drag it to the desired layer. And once you add it to the effect, a new panel will open up called Effects Controls. Now if for some reason this panel does not appear, then simply go to the top menu, Window, and choose Effects Controls from this list. Now in this panel, we can adjust the settings of the Gaussian Blur or any other effect that we applied to the selected clip. It's easy as that. Now by the way, we can find the same settings back by expanding the layer, so you'll have two places where you can change that. Now I always say the best way to learn something new is by doing it. So my tip to you is just go through the entire library by adding different effects to a clip and just see what they do. Of course, don't add them all at once. Your computer is gonna be very angry at you. But just try out a few. Next week, we're going to explore text and animation. So make sure to subscribe and hit that like button.
So thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, stay creative. Now, here on my left, there is right now not really a video because this was the first one. If you're watching this in the future, then you might do see a video over there, and over there is the subscribe button if you want to see this beautiful face every single week. All right, guys, take care, and uh, until next week.